flatulence. Hey there, bike blogger here. On my way to work, just after lunch. So today, I wanted to talk about being vegan. Woo! The left. Being vegan for one year now, consistently, I'll say. So last year, I had a New Year's resolution, become vegan. I'd already pretty much cut a lot of meat out of my diet. But uh, I was still eating a lot of dairy, you know, cheese, uh, butter, uh, milk. Let's go this way. And uh, so why do I do it? Why would anyone do it? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. Well, you probably have heard of the story that, you know, it takes a gallon of water to just get one almond. And that's one thing I like a lot as a substitute for cow's milk is almond milk. But at the same time, it requires a heck of a lot of water to raise a cow and all the methane that they produce ain't so great for the environment. I love cows, don't get me wrong. Um, so that might be one reason. Another reason, uh, morally speaking, you know, you don't want to eat, you know, other living creatures. What do you do about overpopulation of animals? What do you do about overpopulation of human beings? <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. North Korea said they uh, detonated an H-bomb. Uh, you know, they're pretty close to China. So, I'm going to turn around here. So that's a little scary. Uh, Saudi Arabia just beheaded uh, dozens of different people sort of a scary world but uh, you know anything you can do to make the world better I think is a good thing for me though the primary reason I am vegan even though you hear me sniffle a lot when it's cold especially uh, I find cutting dairy out of my diet has uh, opened up my nostrils a lot more. I can breathe a lot better. I just feel better. Um, so that's the primary reason I'm vegan. Uh, I just feel better. It takes a lot, takes a long time to digest meat. You may not realize this, but after you've, you know, been ingesting meat all your life, it'll take a good month or more to totally get it out of your system and that process leads with it a whole bunch of uh, flatulence. So just be aware of that if you've always been a meat eater all your life. One of the disadvantages of being a vegan is that if you're like me, you live in a, a meat dominated culture. Social gatherings and stuff can be rather difficult. Uh, restaurants are getting better though. They're providing at least vegetarian options I've found, which is nice. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking about it, going vegan that is, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I just, I feel a lot better for, for it. So, you know, good deal. Gonna, I was going to yell hi to that person, but they're on the phone. 
guess I could have still done it. And they could have yelled, hi, back to me. So, yeah, this ends the trail. We're going to continue the video, though, till I get back to work here. I just had lunch. So what does a vegan eat? Well, a vegan does not eat meat or dairy or eggs. Some people consider eggs dairy or it's a little confusing. Sometimes they put them near the dairy section of uh, grocery markets. Uh, for lunch, had a veggie burger. What the heck is a veggie burger? It's generally a bean burger or a beet burger or a soy burger or a potato burger. A lot of different options. And I've found with meat, the big thing about meat is the, the texture and the consistency. Uh, meat by itself without any seasoning on it, salt, pepper, and other things, meat actually doesn't even taste good at all to me anymore. Although I can't really say for sure, because like I said, I have not eaten any meat for, uh, for quite some time. All right. Let's get over in the lane here. The light's red up ahead, so we can sort of take it easy. Do I want to go straight or do I want to go up the hill? If I go up the hill, I'm going to get all hot and sweaty. So I think we'll just, I think we'll just wait this one out. So yeah, be vegan. Feel better, live better. You know, there's no hard and fast rule for everybody, though. It works for me, though. I won't push my vegetables on you as long as you don't push your meat onto me. Stuff some meat in your mouth. <laughs> oh. Been rather warm lately. Now 40s, 30s. It's gonna be getting cold next week though. my next video I'll show you my new rear light I forgot to turn it on I'm thinking of like running it uh running it during the daytime as I probably should have been doing all this time you know I don't claim to be you know an expert bicycle commuter an expert vegan I'm rather modest I think at least I try to be but uh yeah I want to I got a new light, I'll show you in the next video. I wanna run it during the day. So then, you know, maybe I can get people to stop following me, following us close, or just give them a little bit of, it's not always their fault. Let's make a left here. I haven't gone this direction before, we're just going back out to the same road. I don't think I can go back behind me. It's not their fault totally though, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be visible, you gotta ride in the middle of the lane. You gotta let people know you're there. So if you got a bright light that's bright in the daytime, you know, it might help. But, you know, it doesn't help with everybody. Uh, you know, there's always that small percentage of people who are just jerks. You'll meet them in the car, whether you're in a car or on a bike, so there's no avoiding them. 
It is what it is though. Whew. Let's get through this intersection before it goes red. Volvo wanted to get around me so they could stop ahead of me. I don't care as long as you do it safely. Give me enough space. I'm a human just like everybody else. For now. <laughs> so you get those uh, driverless cars. And what is it about pickup trucks? God, that guy revving it. I mean, I had a really nice uh, earth sciences and astronomy professor in high school and he drove a pickup truck and he, he was a really nice guy. Although I don't know if he would have been as nice on the road. It's just what is it with the personality of people in pickup trucks? It's like being a bike commuter, especially if there aren't many of you in your city and you're riding in your city and you're sort of like me. There aren't many of you. You gotta set a good example. You know, if you're gonna be riding in the shoulder and they don't usually see bikes on the road, they're gonna expect you to be riding in the shoulder. So, what we gotta do as bike commuters is get people to ride in the middle of the lane. So then cars expect you to be in the middle of the lane and they'll respect you more for it. I'm way off topic, aren't I? That's how my videos are. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. So to just play it loose. Make a left here. Once it's safe to do so. That's another thing. Look at this huge, wide left turn lane I got. A lot of other countries don't got that. Don't got that. Oh gosh. Bicycles on the sidewalk. <laughs> uh. No, I'm not on a one way street. These people who live over there gotta be able to get out of here somewhere so they go this way. But uh, being vegan, more in the description below, as with all my videos, on the bike blogger. I got blog posts on my website bikeblogger.com so if you don't feel like I cover it very well in the video hey I understand that we're trying we're getting better like and subscribe guys and gals and aliens and animals see you next time you just got to keep pedaling And uh, you can't stop. Gosh, that pickup truck stinks.